Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And welcome to the English Teaching Assessment in the Online Learning Course Yes, over the next 16 weeks, we are going to talk about something that a lot of teachers find quite challenging It is about how we test the language ability of our students Here, we specially will discuss about how can assessment help teachers. It will be interesting, right? Okay, we know from talking to teachers that many of you may have not had much training in this important area. So in this course, we hope to introduce you some practical ideas which will help you to assess your students more effectively in the classroom. So let's start by thinking about how and why a better understanding of assessment can be helpful for teachers. Here there are some experts from the world of language assessment and we will be hearing about their ideas throughout this course. They say about why assessment is important in the language classroom. And then there is something that I would really like to highlight, especially for teachers, but also for the students. The importance of bearing in mind what I call the trinity of in language educations, which is learning, teaching, and assessment. Here, the definitions of learning is at the heart of the language educations, but also teaching is very relevant. You always need a teachers, no matter whether no matter whether there is different forms of teachers. But also, assessments allows you to see what you have learned. Learning also doesn't happen without assessment or whatever kind of may want to think of. So I think that bearing in mind that learning, teaching, and assessment go together is something that one really needs to remember. It is extremely important for teachers to know about testing, especially what we call classroom-based assessment. Because why? Because assessment is a part of teaching, in my view. So during the process of teaching, you need to consistently incorporate assessment in classroom teaching as well as summative assessment, for example, for mid-test term or final examinations. If a test taker or a student understands what a test is trying to measure, then it can help them a lot of prepare for that test to be able to understand, okay? What kind of language is, is this the test encouraging me to develop? And I think that is very useful for teachers and for learners in that sense. I think teachers should know about the teachings first of all. And I think one of the basic tenets of the successful teaching is setting learning goals and giving feedback. One of the key sort of relevations that's needed is that this is actually a dimension of assessment, actually in the classroom. All moments where you are setting tasks and giving feedback are in it the basis assessment. So I think building from that, teachers need to develop some concepts or more formal assessment because otherwise they potentially end up using formal tasks inappropriately because they haven't understood some of the basic features of higher stakes tesis, testing I mean so I think they need both yeah here they also need to understand how assessment functions in the classroom and how high stakes testing or large scale testing functions to the extent that is actually impacts on what they do. Here assessment also literacy for teachers is important because it can help them relate what they teach and what the students learn to the final objective in any curriculum. In terms of assessment method, I say Assessment deliberately because many teachers talk a lot about formative and assessment. But unfortunately, they use the test 
and they, some of them, may use the scores on tests in what they think is formative assessment, and formative assessment goes beyond a score. It goes beyond what you did correctly into how you can go on learning and make up for what per perhaps you did not do that well. That's for teachers making them aware, and that's something that teachers learn from day one. What they teach is not always what the student learn, and the assessment is useful in that respect. It shows teachers whether the students learn what they taught. In addition, assessment shows teachers whether students have learned what they have been taught. Learning, teaching, and assessment are all essential elements, elements I mean, of language education. Successful teaching involves setting goals, monitoring performance, and giving feedback. This is also the basis of assessment. In this video, I will explain you the types of assessments. They are summative and formative. We start from summative assessment. Here, summative assessment is usually quite formal for midterm exam. Summative assessments aims to measure a student's ability and it is often used to produce a score or grade for each student. Understanding summative assessment can help teachers to set learning goals. The next formative assessment. It is more informal and then it is not only about giving a score. Formative assessment involves analyzing students' performance by looking at what students did well and what they need to improve next time. Its aim is to guide teachers' future teaching and or students' future learning. In addition, formative assessment is a regular part of good classroom teaching. Understanding formative assessment also helps teachers to follow students' progress and adapt their teaching. This helps learners to achieve their goals in the classroom. Well, I think that's all information that I can tell you. Next video, we have a new topic about assessment versus teaching or assessment versus test. It will be interesting topic, so don't miss out the next video. See you. Have a good learning. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.